I just feel like he's too grumpy, done with my thread. The chances are not that big. I am too tired. I cannot continue to get my press on nails. I had a feeling this was gonna happen. Never. Just any things. And leave me on the edge of my seat. I was so terrified. Hello, I'm gonna spin the wheel for the first day. And I did this before, but I did it for hours, number of hours, but I felt like that was so painful and I don't think I have the time this week to do that. So we're gonna spin the wheel for the number of pages. I decided to do increments of 50, so 50, 100, 150, 200, and then I doubled the amount and then I shuffled it so it's all over the place. You guys can see the wheel on here. That's why it looks like there's a lot, but it's actually two of each number. And I don't actually even know if I can get 500 pages read in a day, but we're still gonna try and figure this out. I am going to spin the wheel. Also, I know this is kind of a little bit of cheating, but right now it's Wednesday and it's actually Wednesday night. It's 7 p.m. I don't know if I can get my pages read today because I'm starting this super, super late, obviously. If I get a big number today and I end up not being able to finish it, I'm just gonna roll it over to the next day. I'm gonna shuffle the numbers again because I feel like it's just better, more random, and we're gonna spin. I don't even want to see the screen because I'm so scared. If I get a 500, I'm gonna freaking cry. <gasps> okay. okay, luck is in my hands. Oh, I'm so thankful. Okay, we're gonna do 100 pages today. I can go over the page number, obviously, but I will try my best to not go under the page number. Now I'm gonna talk to you guys about the book that I'm reading. So I picked up a rom-com because previous to this, I did a reading vlog where I was finishing series and those are all fantasy and I just feel like I want to read a little bit of a romance and I picked this book up because it's on my February TBR and I've been really wanting to read this. It's one of my five-star predictions really and it's by a thread by Lucy Score. I know the cover is not the best but still really excited i actually started this I'm at page 10 this is chapter two currently really enjoying it not too sure what's gonna happen next but i'm currently really enjoying it so thankfully tomorrow is a holiday so i don't really have much to do tomorrow this whole week is a little bit busy because i have chinese new year celebrations but we're still gonna try our best to at least read some and if you guys don't know what this book is about i myself don't really know what this book is about from the first 10 pages it has something to do with this ceo millionaire who is treating this one waitress as an asshole i think they work together in the same office i don't really know anything else the back of this is also not very helpful it's a dialogue between dominic and ali and there's something to do with him firing her so i'm gonna continue reading this and i will let you guys know if i have gone through 100 pages obviously before that i'm gonna edit a video and then I'm gonna continue reading. I'm so comfortable. And no one seems to hold me like you do. Mm -hmm. You're so wonderful. I have officially finished reading my 100 pages. I'm now at page 113. This is chapter 16. This is a thick book, you guys. It's 570 pages. So first impressions of By a Thread. I do feel like Lucy Squash writing is just really good. The introduction was very fun in a sense where the couple had a lot of banter and they were fighting a lot. It's Grumpy Sunshine, workplace romance type of book. They basically work together. Dominic is the boss and she is recently hired as one of those admin people. We've got a glimpse into both main characters' family backgrounds and I think it's gonna be a fun plot to dissect into. And also, I just really like the romance in here. I, however, Ever, currently at least do not really like Dominic he's the male main character and I don't like his character as much I just feel like he's too grumpy I'm not a big hater of grumpy sunshine I don't love it as much as other people do but in this book I just feel like the grumpy is too grumpy like he is just downright being mean and so I don't know how to feel about it I do love Ali who's FMC but I will have to see because I have a feeling that there's going to be some character development with his character he probably will have a change of heart and all of that very very glad I picked this up and I am going to continue reading a little bit more before I go to bed right now it's 11 p.m and I'm absolutely exhausted actually I realized that I probably won't be able to spin the wheel 
tomorrow because I have to go out tomorrow. I'm pretty busy tomorrow. So I figured that since I'm done with my 100 pages today, it's one hour to Thursday. I'm just gonna spin the wheel now and then I will use that for the reading. I probably won't have time to spin the wheel tomorrow. I'm pretty busy tomorrow. I gotta run errands. I have a workout in the morning. So I'm gonna spin the wheel now so that I know how many pages I have to read for by a thread tomorrow. Let me shuffle this a little bit more and then spin. Oh my gosh, I also don't want a big number. Oh, I have a feeling. Oh, okay. We got, oh, damn it. The wheel literally moved from 100 to 300. It's been a while since I've read 300 pages, like in a day. So this is going to be a fun little challenge. And tomorrow I am kind of busy, so I don't know if that's going to happen. But I'm going to try my best. So I will update you guys tomorrow morning or whenever I have updates tomorrow. Good morning. I am going to make this update really quick because I need to leave again. I'm going to bring my book out. So we're going to read our 300 pages today. I am determined to actually finish it. But I went out this morning. I went to the salon and I actually read a lot of Via Thread, you guys. I had to wait for so long. There were so many people inside. And I read up until halfway. I am now at page 282. So technically, I've read like 170 pages, which is so freaking good definitely on schedule i am very very happy i will continue on with my read and i'm just very happy with the progress of this book i love the slow burn and the pining there's so much chemistry sizzling with the main characters and i really love that i have missed a rom-com like this i truly truly love the story and i love how the fmc just doesn't give him any space to be grumpy and being an asshole she's upfront straightforward about him being not such a good person i really like that writing is impeccable i love the plot as well i think it's all very interesting and yeah i'm having fun i'm gonna continue reading i'm obsessed right now i'm currently really really having fun except for the fact that this book has so many pet names i don't really enjoy that much but other than that storyline is all good Love it. I'm gonna continue on reading. I'll give you guys another update tonight. Good morning. I am gonna read 250 pages today. Hopefully that's going to happen. I also am very very busy today, but I think I can do it. So I'm gonna continue with by a thread. I have around 160 pages left of this book. I stopped at page 412 yesterday. Exactly 300 pages. Hopefully I can read a lot today and hopefully I get 250 pages done today. Hi guys, I know I look so much more put together i'm going out for dinner and i also have to put on some nails you guys can't see it but i am done with buying a thread i finished it just now and this is 570 pages long so i have read 158 pages because i started at 412 i am not done with my 250 pages yet but i'll probably get it done after dinner because i do have to go out very soon but my thoughts about buy a thread is that i actually do really enjoy it this book does have a third act conflict i feel like it's rom-com books most of them have third act conflicts but with this one i feel like the third act conflict it was not like uncalled for i was okay with it it wasn't the best i would have preferred to not have it but i do understand that there's a need for a conflict so once again could understand and i feel like with this one it makes sense so i really like the character growth we see with dominic and ali but more like dominic because he was pretty much a jerk from the beginning. A part of the plot regarding Dominic, I still do not quite understand the entirety of it. But overall, I did enjoy the story. I did enjoy how this all went. And with Lucy Scores writing, I do feel like even though it's very, very thick, it doesn't bore me out. I don't really know what rating I would give this. Either like a 4 or a 4.25 maybe. I did have fun, but it's not my most favorite Lucy Score book, I feel. I'm gonna pick out another book after I come back from dinner. I just came back from dinner. Look at my press on nails these were the ones i was talking about i was doing my nails i'm here to pick out my next book with you guys sorry for the weird lighting 
We have a few options. I kind of want to stick with my January TBR, which is these here. But I am really in the mood to read Never by Jessa Hastings. I also really want to read A River Enchanted. I'm kind of feeling a fantasy. Should I pick this one? My dog just ran and took his toy. <laughs> I have come to a conclusion. I am going to be reading A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. My dog is drinking water, so if you guys can hear water sound. I'm gonna pick this because this has been on my TBR for a very long time, and I also really want to get into it ever since reading the Divine Rivals duology, what is it called? Letters of Enchantment. I have been wanting to get into her other duology, which is this one. First book, second book, and this is also on my February TBR. So I feel like getting into this one would be a good start. Today, I'm only missing 92 pages, I think. The math is correct so let's just get into it i don't actually know what this is about but it is set in a magical world called the magical isle of cadence girls going missing in this island and adara who is the heiress of this island needs to figure out why these girls are going missing and so she asks the help of her, her childhood enemy jack tamerlane it becomes apparent the trouble with the spirits is far more sinister than thought and an older darker secret lurks threatening to undo them all hopefully it's gonna be an easy read because i am terribly exhausted right now so let's just hope it's gonna be an easy one Lighting isn't the best, but I want to give a little quick update on our River Enchanted before I go to bed. Right now it's 11.30 p.m. and I am super, super sleepy. I am exhausted. I am about to fall asleep. And I know I have to read 92 pages of this book, but right now I'm at page 64 and this is chapter 4. I am too tired. I cannot continue on reading this because I am so sleepy. And the thing is, this is a new fantasy book. Usually it takes a longer time to get into a new fantasy world because there's a lot of world building that needs to be done in the beginning of the book and so the beginning portion is a little bit slow and i feel like it's not boring but there's so much new information coming up that i feel like i really need to concentrate but i cannot concentrate because i am so freaking sleepy i just keep repeating the same sentences over and over and so i decided to just not continue on reading this and to roll over the rest of my pages Tomorrow. Tomorrow is a very, very busy day too. Tomorrow is Chinese New Year. So if you guys celebrate, happy Chinese New Year. Right now, I do want to do my wheel spinning thingy right now. And we're going to do it on my laptop. I'm just going to do it now. So that's easier for me to know how many pages I have to read tomorrow. First it was 100 and then it's 350 and then now it's 250. So I'm hoping for like less than 300. <gasps> Please don't move. Don't move. 150 pages is my goal for tomorrow which is really really good so i totally forgot to talk about my first impressions on a river enchanted the point of view is in the mmc jack's point of view so it's really fun to see his side of the story i'm pretty sure as we go on we're gonna see more of the fmc adara's point of view but right now it's mostly in jack's and i think that part of that is fun and it is written in third person but there's still a lot of POVs that you're probably going to see so far at least there's two and the other one is not the FMC's POV but it's the FMC's cousin's wife's point of view maybe she'll play a big role in the plot in the future maybe I'm not really too sure and the storytelling is very folklore vibes because you follow the spirit of this island and it really governs the whole island never read a fantasy book like this before so i think it's going to be fun hopefully it's going to be fun i'm gonna go now i'm gonna go to bed i will see you guys tomorrow morning hi guys it's currently night time and today was so hectic so i only had time to update you guys today but i do have an update on my reading for i River enchanted so i did end up reading the 20 pages that i was gonna roll over yesterday night before i went to sleep that was uh chapter six i think page 92 and then i continued on reading for the rest of the day today but because i had lots of festivities i didn't really read a lot i only read up until page 118 so far at least nothing really big has happened page 220 is my goal for today that is almost halfway through this book so i do want to get through it because this book has been really really slow that's about it for my update i am going to go now i will see you guys when i'm done with my work
I am now at chapter 14. This is page 226. And I do want to give my nighttime update now before I go to bed. But I am going to be finishing my 150 pages today. But I do want to turn the lights off and stuff and read in bed. And so that's why I am giving my quick little update now before I go to sleep. This book did start off pretty slow. And we're finally in the part of the book where the kids are going missing and you're trying to figure out the mystery behind it. And also the magic in here is the type of magic that I like in a sense where if you're blessed to have that magic and you actually use it you will lose a part of yourself the more you use the magic and the romance in this is not as much but it's still really really cute and I do love it I kind of want to see how the relationship is going to go on from here so currently enjoying the book it did have a very slow start but now i can see why this book is highly rated by some people that is my update for today i will see you guys tomorrow i'm currently chilling in bed and we're gonna run the wheels spin the wheel generator thing on my laptop and spin i've been really lucky these past few days so oh my gosh Oh, I had a feeling this was gonna happen. We got 400 pages today, which is not the best, but we're gonna try and make it work, I guess. As for River Enchanted, I'm at page 246. I have 220-ish pages, so I need to get this book done. So I'm gonna start reading right now this morning. It is currently 11.30 p.m. if you guys want to know that and I have officially finished reading A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. Before I talk about this book, I would just like to say that I don't think I can finish my 400 pages today. <laughs> With finishing this book, I officially read 220 pages. To be exact, 218. I started off at page 246 and this book ended at page 464. That also means I have approximately 182 pages left to read if I want to get my 400 pages done. Today was a very busy day. I had lots of work to do and I spent the whole day until 9 p.m. finishing up my work. So I just finished reading the last 220 pages like two hours ago and what I can tell you guys is that for sure I don't think I can finish my 400 pages. Obviously I'm going to try my best to get at least a lot of pages done because I still have 30 minutes left to my sleep time which is midnight. As for my thoughts on River Enchanted, the latter half of this book 100% picked up. And let me tell you the plot of the latter half of this book was amazing. I truly, truly do love the magical world of this book. And I feel like I haven't read a book like this before. And even though it does mimic a folk tale type of vibe, which I don't really tend to stray towards the kind of fantasy book, this one was really, really good. I love the revelations at the end of this book. I love the secrets and what they were hiding. And I felt like I couldn't guess any of them. I did guess one. I did guess one. But other than that, everything else was just such a surprise to me. And I really liked how they were all revealed. I loved the romance in this, even though there basically is not much romance. But I did love the little crumbs we get. And there's also a side character who's had a romance. And I really liked that romance too and i'm so freaking excited to get into the second book this book just ended off not in the biggest cliffhanger but it was just the type of ending that you really want to know what's going to happen next the pace took a while to keep up but by the end of this book i was just flying through the pages let me think about my reading but i'm gonna put this book down i'm finally done with it actually i'm in between two books right now i don't really know which one i want to pick up the first book i thought of is little white lies by jennifer lynn barnes because it's a ya mystery book and i love jennifer lynn barnes writing i feel like her writing is very fast paced and so you can probably get a few pages in pretty quickly and short chapters all of that it makes the reading experience super easy i don't know if i'm in a mood for a mystery and so i picked up yours truly by abby jimenez which i also feel like her writing is super Super easy, super fast paced, and I love reading her rom coms. I feel like I can fly through her book super quickly. Not too sure which one I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna think about it and I'll let you guys know tomorrow morning, I guess. These will. These are Ross. These will finish off the two duologies I've been really, really wanting to read. Hi guys, it is currently Monday night, and I am here to tell you guys that I literally worked the whole day today since the morning until approximately 8 p.m. and I only started reading from 8 to 10.
10 and so what I did was that I tried my best to finish off the pages that I had for yesterday and that was 182 pages and I'm officially done with those because I'm now at page 184 this is chapter 33 and I'm almost halfway through this book but we have yet to roll the wheel for the pages today and it's currently 10 p.m so I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I am obviously hoping for a smaller number, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Okay, I'm honestly terrified, but we're gonna spin the wheel. Gosh. Ah. Uh. Oh. oh my gosh, okay. I was so terrified because it was gonna go to 200 and I really wanted it to be 150. Of course it would have been great if I got a 50 or a 100, but the chances are not that big. And so 150 is totally fine. I don't know if I can finish it because that also means that I have to go through a significant amount of this book. And also if you guys don't know what this book is about, you're following Sawyer Taft who lives with her single mother. And one day her grandmother, her maternal grandmother, comes to visit her and to offer her $500,000 in return. She's to go back to her grandma's house and enter the debutantes. And basically Sawyer agrees to it because she also wants to find out who her biological father is. And also she ends up getting embroiled in this whole debutante drama that consists of her cousin and her other friends. I think it's going to be a fun little easy read. Didn't update you guys yesterday night, but I did finish my 150 pages yesterday and now I'm at chapter 60. This is page 336. I'm almost done with the book. I'm like 60 pages to the end of the book, so I do want to finish this as soon as possible. It's currently 1.30 p.m., so I am a little bit early today compared to yesterday. Obviously, I'm always hoping for a smaller number, but if we get a big number, it's totally fine today. I'm so scared. I'm like kind of scared. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, we got 250, which is so good. We'll pick up another book after I'm done with this. I'm gonna talk about my thoughts about this book once I'm done with it because I'm currently still on the fence about my thoughts about this book. So I'm gonna finish the book and then we'll talk about it after that. So good um, for you guys, it feels like it's only a few seconds, but it has been almost six hours since my last update. I'm officially done with Little White Lies by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, which is very, very good because I was procrastinating reading this. And so when I finally ended this book, I felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. And what I feel about this is that it definitely is not as good as Inheritance Games or even The Naturals, but I did still enjoy the process of reading this. Still a really good YA mystery book and I still had fun. It didn't leave me on the edge of my seat and I didn't really, really want to find out the mystery desperately. I also guessed a few of the plot twists in here, but overall still a very fast and easy read. I think I'm gonna give this like a 3.5 and not like a 4 because I feel like my enjoyment level of reading this is not as high. Now we have 150 pages left and I am going to be spending the rest of my time reading. I think I can finish it and I have decided to pick up Baybound by Sarah L. Arifi and I, when I picked this up, I didn't realize this was a sapphic romance, but I'm super excited because I have not read a sapphic romance before and also samantha shannon who wrote the priory of the orange tree blurb book so i think this is going to be a pretty interesting read i don't know much about the book except for the fact that you're following Faye. As a warrior in the elven army, Yuran has known nothing but violence her whole life. Her sister, Lettle, is trying to make a living as a diviner, seeking prophecies of a better future. When a fatal mistake leads to Yuran's exile from the elven lands, both sisters are forced into the terrifying wilderness beyond their borders. There, they encounter the impossible, the Fae Court. The Fae haven't been seen for a millennium, but now, Yuran and Lettle are thrust into their seductive world, torn between their loyalties to each other, their elven homeland, and their hearts. Feybound is the first book in an enchanting new trilogy. It's a trilogy. This is the first book. This is the only book that's out. So I'm excited. I'm interested to see what this is going to be. I'm just gonna do some bureau footage, I guess, and then I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow to end this video.
Hello guys. I thought I would end the vlog here because I'm officially done with the challenge. It is currently the next day at night. I didn't have time to finish off the vlog this morning, so I'm doing it now. I want to be upfront and let you guys know that I didn't actually finish my 150 pages yesterday. In total, I was supposed to read 200 pages, but I did read the last like 50 pages on Little White Lies. And then I picked up Feybound, but I ended up only reading 18 pages from this book. This is chapter three. I came to realize that when I picked this book up, it was really, really high fantasy. So a lot of the world building was really complex and it took me a very long time to actually finish those 18 pages. Not possible if I want to get it done at night. So I decided to pick up another book to read alongside Feybound and that's Field of Fire by Kristen Beccarici. I was in the middle of this book. So I was at page 84 of this book and now I'm at page 170, which is chapter 18. In total, I did not read 200 pages, but I tried. Yeah, those two books are the books that I read yesterday. And then the books that I read throughout this challenge, I read three books. I read By a Third by Lucy Score, Over Enchanted by Rebecca Ross, and Little White Life by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. So yeah, that is it for this challenge, I guess. It really helped get through a lot of my February TBR because these books are on my Feb TBR and I'm very happy that I actually got to reading them. These books are also on my Feb TBR, so getting into them is just, it feels very nice because I would love to get through my February TBR and actually finish all the books on there. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me read all of these books and also all of the reviews about the books don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video bye